Absolutely. You got the uh, cyclone legend himself, Seneca Wallace, who's also really locked on to that forecast because uh, once a year you get to come back. You come back a lot, I know. You've got business here now mm -hmm. with the wing stop, and you've yeah. got a football camp because it's all. I know you love to give back. You love to be back here. And big football camp is coming up in Bondurant. Coming up tomorrow, man. So hopefully this rain can hold off a little bit for us so we can get out there and teach these kids some football. I think we're going to be okay. So what is your camp all about for the kids that have, uh, maybe they've done it before. Mm -hmm. You'd love to have repeat customers, right. I know. But you'd also love to make this an opportunity to introduce the game to some kids. Well, it's just a skills camp, basically just teaching the kids the fundamentals of uh, playing the game of football. I mean, obviously, uh, this day and age with technology and how advanced things are, uh, we want to kind of teach them the grassroots of how to play football, how to run, how to catch, how to throw, how to tackle properly, because, uh, you know, sometimes we don't have time as coaches and we get away from technique and fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And so this is what this camp is about, just to kind of introduce football to the younger generation. You want to give them the skills and set them up for success, in other, in other right. words. Uh, you know, football's been under a microscope. We, we had, uh, the Hawkeyes had their camp, Tim Dwight, Tavian mm -hmm. Banks were on. And uh, we talked a little bit about the scrutiny that the game's gotten under in the last five years or so with uh, uh, make sure you talk safety with tackling. Right. Do you think it's a good thing, though, that we're looking at football as an, an overall you yeah. know, how do we make the game better safer and, and better. safer? Right. No, I think it's important. I mean, because uh, with injuries and neck injuries and all the uh, elements that come along with playing this game, I mean, it's a violent sport and uh, anything can happen. But if us as coaches, and I say myself because I volunteer down in Dallas, but uh, if we teach the proper techniques of how yeah. to heads up football is one thing that they talk about, keeping your head up when you tackle, mm -hmm. hitting the strike zone. And so... Uh, the NFL has been doing a great job in trying to change that, mm -hmm. and obviously with the penalties that you're seeing a lot yeah. more now, uh, and so they're doing a great job, and so us as a younger generation got to keep coaching that up. Well, and I hear if you do it the right way, you tackle the right way, the number of injuries aren't any more than you see in like soccer and Correct. some of the other sports if you do it the right way. Right. That's what it's all about at this camp. Correct, and then uh, obviously with uh, with uh, with technology now, they've changed the way how helmets are. Yep. And I also got a seven on seven tournament later in the evening on Saturday. That's right. And uh, you know, even for seven on seven tournaments around the nation right now, they have to have wear helmets. Yep. Actually, padded helmets. So uh, they're doing a great job just trying to keep the game safe. This is the information, Joyce'sAngels.org. If you want to sign up, you have a, you can show up in person too at 9 a.m. Yeah, correct? yeah, yeah. We're having walk ups as well. Uh, our numbers are not huge right now, but we just want to keep encouraging people because I know this is a huge baseball weekend, too. Yeah. And so uh, you try to just get it on the same page. Okay, 35 bucks, you get your shirt, you get to hang out with Seneca. Always good to have you back. Thank you, man. Good to have you back here Appreciate in the state. It. Thank you.